What's up guys, your boy Chato here, back with another vlog. Uh, I know it's been a while since we last vlogged. Um, well, we kinda, me and my brother, we kinda, we were just lost. We don't know what to do with BTP, the channel, the brand, our Instagram page. But uh, we both kinda just came to a conclusion that we're just gonna take it a step at a time. I think we jumped too early uh, to do merch. It was easier to, you know, buy the supplies um, when it was a group of us, because we had split the, we had split the, um, the price of the shirts and the, and then to get them um, stamped with the BTP logo. But now that it's just me and my brother, we have our bills. You know, I don't work full time; I work part time. Um, I go to school full time, but that's not an excuse. I mean, I try to get as much hours as I can at QT, but um, we kind of just decide we're gonna take it a step at a time with BTP. But yeah, guys, uh, happy to get back into this vlog stuff again. Hopefully we keep it going. I've had a lot of changes recently with my truck and then my brother's car, Tito's Mustang. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and give you guys an update. We're gonna start off with Tito's car. Um, I'm not sure where we last left off, but he got the GT350 uh, spoiler. He got these custom uh, SVE wheels. They were like charcoal black or something or gray, but he sent them out to get brushed. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it with Tito's car. He has a couple more things coming. Uh, he did do long tube headers and the cat pack, which is the carbon R with the X pipe. But it's it's a really clean and simple build. And with my truck, uh, I'm not sure where I left off either. I did the color match and then uh, low pro tires. And that's pretty much it. Only thing now is that my hubs my hub bearings are starting to grind on this side, on the passenger side. Um, don't mind the missing wheel cap. I have no clue where it's at. I think it just flew off to be honest, but uh, it just started to grind and it doesn't have no no play in it, but you could hear it grinding when you go like 75. Like on a freeway, you you be able to hear it grinding and like no, low mouse powers, you could hear it kind of, but not, not as gonna much. What it's gonna be about is maintenance on the F-150. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, redo our front suspension um because we're gonna replace the bear the hubs the whole hub assembly um i went ahead and ordered max track two inch spindles and there they are over there and here are the new hubs but since since i was like well i gotta i gotta replace this the hubs i might as well do the spindles and then on the driver's side the strut um it broke and i've just i've just been driving it with a broken strut and it is dangerous but I mean, fuck it, right? <laughs> but yeah, guys, so since I have to disassemble the strut assembly, I was like, you know what? Might as well just redo the front suspension. So what we're rocking right now, I'll show you guys just in a bit. But we're rocking, we're rocking the Max Track, not the Max Track, we're rocking Baltech, um three, five and a half drop kit. It has three inch springs, the strut, and then I'm also rocking the, I think it's the IHC, upper control arms from the 15 to 20 year models it fits 09 but i don't know why they only have 15 plus but they fit the 12th gen f-150 so 2009 to 2014 but yeah in the rear obviously a flip kit and yeah it's at a 6 inch drop in the rear um i also got the clear side markers from right here i just haven't had time to install them and then for the first time ever i got my first sponsor I got Anzo USA sponsoring me some new headlights. I'll go ahead and show you guys later. After I do after I do the whole front suspension, then I'll go ahead and install the headlights and I'll show you guys. All right, you guys. So we are rocking the IEC upper control arms, three inch springs, and then the struts. And then overall, this is a four inch drop setup. Um, we do have drilled and slotted brake rotors all around. All right, so to start, take off your brake rotor, your caliper, just putting it right there for now. But I'm um, gonna take off this brake thing and then your ABS sensor. You're gonna unclip it from here. And then there's two clips right here, one right there. And then I believe there's one, I believe this is the ABS uh, right here and it's just disconnected from under there. But actually, this is the ABS connection right here. So just disconnect it and then uh, take off all your clips. And that's how you get the ABS thing off. And then we're gonna have to readjust these uh, upper control arms. Um, I 
I asked around and they told me about like half an inch to, uh, I think he said three quarters of an inch. Um, that's what he, that's what La Colorada told me, or um, CTP. He told me to, uh, to adjust these to that. Since I'm gonna be going to five or five and a half, I'm not sure yet, but it's cause we still have the transmission cross member right there and it's, it sits pretty low. I already scraped a lot um, at a four inch drop, so. I think I'll set a five for now. Once I get the raised one, um, once I get the raised one, then uh, we'll lower it even more. All right, you guys. Well, it, low key, I struggled getting the bottom ball, ball joints out, but as you can see, everything's out. The IC control arms, the spindle, stock spindle, and the hubs over there. This is the strut and the springs. Um, uh, CTP told me to adjust it to like one half to three quarters, I think. Or I'll go check right now, but. Um, since the spindles are two inch, I think I'm gonna try and keep the three inch springs. I originally was gonna put the stock springs on, but I think I'm gonna keep them and I'm gonna just add the spacers to the strut. Um, since they are three inch springs, I'm just gonna adjust the strut to stock height uh, using the spacers that they give you. But um, it's pretty straightforward, just the getting the spindle off took forever. As you can see, I got everything right here. Let's go look at the new parts. Well, after making a big mess, um, you do not use the factory dust shield, I believe. I don't see the holes. This is the calipers go right there in these two, um, the hub, but I do not see where you're supposed to put the dust shield. I know, I think certain versions of the spindles hat you could, but I don't think these new ones um, have the holes to put them on, but that's all good. All right, guys, Carlos just pulled up, but we got the strut over here. Uh, anybody pulling up? I don't know what the fuck that is, but uh, we set the strut to OEM height and then the springs are three inch springs and yep. Um, you don't know how to put it back on. I did not know how to put it back on, bro. But I know this is federal, but we, we getting it, we getting it. But yeah, guys. Am I Yeah. So, just putting everything back together. Um, Unfortunately, we couldn't get the other side, so I'll just leave it soaking with PB Blaster over the night, and uh, we'll get to it tomorrow. Uh, Don't buy Fords. Fords for the win, bro. Don't buy Fords unless you want to work back on together. Monday. And yeah, should be pretty quick now. Yep. All right, you guys. So yesterday, after finally struggling for like hours trying to get the strut, took it to the shop, and they did it for me. Um, but it's just putting everything back together. But I just need to attach the ABS sensor to the to their clips where they belong so it's not just hanging there. And then now to just get started with the other side. Also one thing is I had adjusted the upper controllers to half an inch, um, just going off of what CTP told me, but I think I'm gonna adjust a little bit less because there was a lot of like, um, the wheel was pushed out a lot. So I'm gonna uh, adjust it again. That's what I'm gonna do right now and then get started on the other side. All right, finally we finished. It's like a three finger gap all around. Three finger gap. But to be honest, I should have gone more low. Jose and Lisa over there cracking. But. HNST for the win. HNST for the win, that's the boy. Luis, Jose and Randy. But that's how she sits. <laughs> As I was saying, uh, for anybody dropping a 12th gen F-150, the only way to align your your camber um, is with the IAC upper control arms and spindles. If you don't have those, you're gonna have to slide your your lower control arm holes, uh, which you don't, re which isn't really recommendable, but. If anybody is looking to drop their 12th Gen F-150, so 2009, 2014, um, 2014 years, it varies. If it, if it was made in the second half of the quarter or of the year, um, you can use 2015 and up suspension. But uh, if it wasn't made in the first half, you use the 2009, 2013 year suspension. But anybody looking to go low or medium lowish, I recommend getting a twin spindle. That'll allow you to have no camera at all and then um, get the Beltec drop kit with the flip kit, rear shocks, and front struts. And then with the front struts, you'll just be able to adjust your height 
uh, d depending on how low you want to go. With the spindles and the struts, you can go up to five and a half inches. Um, right now, I'm, I'm rocking the three inch springs, the struts, and the spindles, and the, also the IC upper control arms. Um, I can go up to, I believe, like six and a half inches, but I'm just gonna leave it right here at five till I get the rear step notched. And then after we get the rear step notch, we're putting the three inch shackles. And then we might just be putting one inch block in the rear, depending how low the gas tank, how low the gas tank sits, but, but yeah. you guys so i just got out of work um but i've been driving the truck for about a week after getting it aligned and uh and everything i still have to replace one of the upper control arms because the the ball joint is all messed up um i see i don't know what's up i reached out to them they have not yet sent an email or uh replied at all all that's left to be honest if they don't not answer my email i'm just gonna go ahead and call them uh but yeah guys the truck drives great. It honestly feels so much better. It's a, such a better ride with spindles, springs, and strut uh, compared to just the strut and the springs. Sorry about the harsh lighting, guys. Literally two o'clock in the afternoon, but here it is. There you go. Sorry about the headlights. Literally, this weekend was such a freaking pain. Uh, rainstorm and uh, I sealed them up with uh, clear silicone, but I'm gonna have to uh, silicone them up again. Uh, Cause look, you guys can see. Uh, I do have the headlights. I'll show you guys the clips in the in the, in the vlog. Those headlights came out faulty. Um, I'm in the I'm in the process of trying to see how I can get it to work. Uh, right now, I'm reaching out to. I reached out to Anzo. Uh, I'm. They did sponsor the headlights, so I'm just waiting to see what Anzo says. Uh, I'm talking to their. Uh, the technicians or whatever uh see what's up but as of right now like once i when i s plug both of them in only one side works the other side doesn't and they told me that they think the truck might be leaking voltage or something like that but i'm gonna go ahead and try and test them out on my homie cisco truck and if uh his work then I it's something about my truck and then i'm gonna just send the headlights back out because i'm not honestly i'm not trying to pay for some headlights that didn't work um but yeah guys Truck looks great. Only thing is that you do have to take you do have to take the bottom plastic. There's this plastic. There there used to be another plastic below that one, and legit it would scrape everywhere. As soon as you would hit the brakes, all you would hear is plastic uh, on the ground and just scraping really bad. It sounded pretty bad, but. Um, it's just the plastic. Also, for anybody looking to lower their 12 Gen F-150 or uh, 2009 and up F-150, I'm not too knowledgeable for the 11th Gen and below, but 12 Gen and up, um, the only ways that you can correct your camber, because I see this is very common that people would like to slot the, their lower control arm holes, but don't do that. You're just gonna keep getting uh, your alignment off. Maybe at first it'll be on, like on point, but um, from what I've seen and from what I've heard is that it'll just keep messing up and you have to keep going to the line shop but definitely stick to spindles if you have the 12 Gen F-150 the only way you can correct camber is with the IEC upper control arms the adjustable ones or the max strike 2 inch spindles but honestly the best the best drop kit for the, these 12 Gen F-150s I want to say they're the spindles plus the Beltec uh, stretch with springs, uh, whichever you choose. But if you're planning to go lower, like I'm gonna go lower, uh, keep your spring, keep the drains draw springs with the struts. Um. Also, one more thing for the, the these 12 Gen F 150s um, is that the transmission cross member hangs so low. Uh, I don't know what's up with Ford, but the, um, Reckless does make a race transmission cross member, as well as this guy that I found on Facebook. His name is. Uh, slam garage. I'm gonna go ahead and put his information on the screen. If 
you guys want to order his race cross member kit, uh, regular is a little bit more expensive at like, I think it's $3.99, but Slap Garage is $3.10 ship, $310 ship. But let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is this. This transmission cross member. As you guys can see, I don't have much space. As you, as you guys can see, I don't have much space. Um, like I scrape that all the time and I, I would highly recommend anybody that's looking to go for a five inch or lower drop on their 12 Gen F150 to get that before uh, lowering it. It scrapes literally everywhere. Any, any little bump, even like the small bumps at stores, it'll scrape on them. And because the exhaust hangs just as low, I have a fat, fat exhaust leak. Also for the crew cap guys, um, these crew cabs like to sit a little bit lower than the regular cabs. So just know that your lower control arm cross member where they grab onto, it, it will also hit. Um, that's just something if you guys don't, if you guys, that's just something for you guys to look out to. Um, I'm still gonna drive it. I like. I drive pretty careful, so I don't mind going extra slow. But for the rear, uh, I still just got the flip kit and the act and the stock shackles. Six inch drop right now. Um, I will be getting the step notch uh, done here in a couple of couple of weeks. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any questions with these F150s, because I know uh, there seems to be a quite a bit of confusion on how to correct camber and what's the best drop kit. Just go ahead and leave a comment and we'll see if we can get to it. Yeah, guys, thank you all for watching for today's video. Um, be sure to leave a like and a comment and watch out for the next uh, YouTube vlog. I'll ma make sure to follow us on Instagram, Build to Perform Official. Uh, we'll be posting there when our next vlog will be. But see you guys in the next vlog. Peace out.